get the big red light on in the top corner and Stockport County Live rock and rolling with uh, Matty Main wearing and the man of the people, I got to say last night, seeing them videos, Podcast Thursdays, Liam Dickinson. We're here. We're here again. We're doing what we do best. <laughs> Mate, talk to me about last night. Talk, tell me about what it was like. That, what Mate, was the atmosphere like that you had? Sure, honestly, from... from um... Literally from walking down the road towards the ground, people singing. It, it just felt like it was... Um, it just felt like it brought a lot of memories back. It brought a lot of memories back for, for, for when I used to arrive for games and the fans were already there, singing in the streets, drinking beers, hugging each other. That atmosphere, it was just electric. Matty, uh, I, I, I'm going to... We've got a very, very special guest in a moment. So I'm Sorry, boys. By the way, I've just got a bit of a shock here for you. Go on. No way. No way. No way. That's Sorry, not... <laughs> Make, you're making a comeback. It's a calm before the storm, mate. <laughs> December too, mate. I just drink every day in December. It's got five San Miguel. <laughs> um, Matty, very quickly, and we'll, we'll talk about it with our special guest in full in a moment, but just in a nutshell, out of 10, how would you rate County's performance yesterday? <laughs> um, it's impossible to rate quickly that mate uh, eight goals um, <laughs> after the first 15 minutes <clears throat> 11 out of 10 mate it was superb second half superb um, extra time and, and to be honest if you knew nothing about football nothing about divisions it, it, it looked it looked like the other way around like we were the, with two divisions above Bolton they were yeah. absolutely superb from uh, from probably halfway through the first half right to the final whistle well, let me say, let me say, right, when when County Bolton was first drawn out of the hat, everyone's gone like this. Brilliant tie, right? Local, big, you know, everything that comes with it. But there was one guy in particular, I reckon, eyebrows raised a little bit higher than everyone else's. I'm delighted to welcome the main man. <laughs> oh, <Oy! laughs> what, what a time to be alive. Oh. Wow. Mate. mate, Ant Sarkovic, mate, how how are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> you're very. You, you're the <laughs> <What> would <do> you <laughs> know? <laughs> now it's one of them. Yeah, they come last night. I don't. I don't think I went to bed till about. I think about because you can't sleep anyway after no. night games, can you? No. But but that last night was just like I was up watching it back on the telly and. It was, it's just one of them, like, a, you know, for all the lads, though, but for me especially, one I'll never forget for the rest of my life. That. Yeah. Is, is last night, mate, is last night the the cherry on the top of a whirlwind of a last few weeks that has seen you come to County from Bolton? The, the, the draw's been made, the, the draw, obviously, that you weren't involved with, but then to bring it back to Edgeley Park and yeah. be in a... In a what what has this whole last month or so been like for you? You know what? No, being being honest, it's been tough. It's been not just for me, like for Kate, my wife, like because listen, the football fan, football is a, a, at times it's an horrible sport, and um, and I've witnessed that last two weeks. It's, I'm just glad the cloud now that's been hanging over me is like because I feel like it affected me last night. Like I weren't really pleased with my own performance and stuff, but. I think that was just a collective of of everything, and I'm just you know what I'm just it couldn't have been a better ending, but I'm just so happy now that I can just wipe that away now. Focus on on everything going forward now. We should say before before we start moving into to Bolton Wanderers and the cup and the next round and the league and everything else, we should say you're actually good mates with Matty and Dicko, our two Stockport County Live resident hosts. You're good mates with these guys. I am, yeah. The good lads, the good how, lads. How long have you known them, and, and and what have you been through? I've I've known I've known them both for a while. But obviously through football, I knew Matty. I played against Matty a few times, so I've known Matty, and just obviously being out and it's just like the old cliche football friends. And everyone then Dick, knows everyone. And Dicko just yeah, everyone knows Dicko. And then I just <laughs> sort of it's one of them since thing. I've just seen. I've just bumped into Dicko every. Now and then, recently, yeah. and then, yeah. We no, had... Obviously, obviously, I'm close with my little brother as well. Um, yeah. yeah, so it's it's what's like it's like you say the old cliche. Every it's football friends. Everyone knows everyone in the game. You yeah. you can't pass at some point, and and especially being you know local lads, Manchester lads. Everyone everyone knows everyone. 
Correct, yeah, definitely. So going back to last night, what 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 was your thoughts on the atmosphere? What just talk me through the atmosphere of the fans. It was it's mate, you know what? Like you'll know as well in the dressing rooms, you know, everyone's like bantering me like you know, you're going to get a bit of stick, which is fine. Like, I take that. Like, I don't mind it. But from the other side of it, where you look at our fans, even the away trip, like, that's just, it's it's different level. Do you know what I mean? It's it's just, they they, they were the reason why that last night happened 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know, for me, when I, when I, when I was at County, I think I went ten. My first ten goals were all in the Cheetland, all yeah. against Cheetland, all going towards our fans. And it's just, yeah. it's crazy. They say about the, the, you know the twelfth man. <coughs> it's, the, it's the momentum, isn't it? It's the momentum yeah. you get from from the. Uh, from yeah, the, definitely. It, 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 does, it does pull you through. Yeah, and and they could have easily turned or, you know, just set a tone where we could have like felt it where we've gone two 0 down after five minutes live on telly. But they were just with us like the whole time. And I think what helped that as well is that Bolton had a pat's other side. And I think them just both like going at each other. Yeah. I think it's kept them on our side. And then we've obviously just we've just flourished with that and then produced produce what we did. What what was it what was it like trying to play with with that level of excitement and energy going around you? What what how, I mean Listen, you guys are professional footballers, so you've had infinitely more experience of it than I have. But what is it like in a game specifically like last night, where it's the first sellout crowd in a number of years? Yeah. Like you say, the tell is there, there's the extra spice, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. What's it like being in that moment? It's it's the best. It's what you it's it's what you play it for, it's what you play the sport for and in, in any sport, but they're the moments that you're gonna remember for the rest of your career, like you know, you look back and you'll think about that game and that you'll talk about that game. And it's just one of the moments where you just, you just, you know, it's, it's, it's good to be playing and then obviously winning it like we did. And now everyone's talking about it. It's just, it's special. Without wanting to put words in your mouth, uh, and mate, would, would you, how, let me, let me word this properly. Is that your best ever memory of, of playing football now you can say no if you if there's genuinely something else because everyone knows how instantly how how much how highly you will rate last night already yeah. but do you think that might be your highest moment in football it, it, I, I would say yeah because and this isn't a dig at Bolton or a dig at Bolton's fans but as a footballer I'm like muted and limited to I just I've been taking bullet 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 for the last two and a half weeks and been very will hush because I have to be. And obviously people see and hear things and, and that's just hearsay in football, like Chinese whispers. So everything up to that game, like I said, this cloud hanging over us, that last night, like I said, I've come home with the biggest grin that I just thought it couldn't have gone any better. And now on top of that, I can focus purely on just looking forward to the next two two years now with Stockport County and, and just... Yeah. That's that's not finished. That's that's the the biggest thing that came out of last night. What we do every week is is Matt breaks down a little bit of what we've seen. You know, as you will know, Ant, uh, as well as the rest of us, Matt's tactical technical brain is very very yeah. good. So he breaks down what we've is seen it? the game before. <laughs> I don't usually say that in front of you. To be fair, is 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 tactically very good. And I I just head the ball. I just flick it on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you take all the headlines of the scope with the goals, lad. <laughs> give us all the memories yeah. so I'm going to ask Matt I'm going to ask Matt for him to do his run through for last night and then and then Ant in particular tell us it, where well if you agree or disagree with any parts of it yeah. from a player's perspective it, I'd be quite intrigued to hear but yeah, Matt yeah. what did you make of last night Matt? Um, so I mean the obvious talking points the first 10 minutes it wasn't it wasn't a great start uh, too many goals to go through individually and break them up but the, the standout goals were the first two. The Palmer's just not sorted his sorted his feet out. He's in the right position. He assumed a good yeah. position. But I think if that yeah. same thing happens 20, 30, 40 minutes into the game, he's, his nervous system's warmed up. He's more ready for that. It's just ricocheted off him. It's one of them things. He couldn't have been in a better position and he's just not sorted his feet out. Yeah, Made up for it later on. The, the second one, I don't think anyone will be able to tell Ethan Ross he shouldn't have come. He shouldn't have come. But he came... 
and that's that, you know, and, and he made some good saves and, and, and made up for that later on. But I think from 10 minutes onwards, or maybe 15 minutes onwards, we started to answer back. Yeah. Um, picking out individual performances, I'll start with you, Answer. You, you said you weren't happy with your performance. I thought you were superb. I sat with my old man. I caught, I caught most of the game with my dad, and he said, he said you were superb. And it's quite obvious you played at an higher level. Thank you, mate. Glaringly obvious. I'm, I'm not talking about banging an hat trick in or you know two or three assists. I'm talking about the right pass at the right time, breaking up play, um, screening when you have to, yeah, and just just being that bridge between the the, the back four and, and the front the front two. Um, we spoke a while ago, a good while ago, about Paddy Madden. Uh, not struggling to find the net, but, you know, we were talking about that time will come. And I remember saying to you at the time, Chris, that his contribution second to none. And you can, yeah. you can also tell he's played at an higher level. And it, it shown last night. I thought he was excellent. Yeah. Uh, another great assist. But aside from that, he's a great link man. He makes good choices with the ball. Um, and he's just an all-round really good player. Yeah. And we've got many. We've got a fair few, you know, all-round really good, well-rounded players. Um, Quig Quigley, another example. He's like, like Liam. Back in the day, makes things happen. Even when things aren't one hundred percent going in his favour, he'll make it spill to one of our lads. Definitely, he's a big, big marauding player. He's good with his feet, and he's constantly probing. Um, Southam Hales was excellent. He, he never stopped on the right hand side. He was breaking them down. He was going at him. He was getting corners. He was getting throw-ins in the last third. His, his choices, of cr uh, crosses were good. So when he's reaching the byline, he's standing him up. He's giving yes. the, uh, the defender Santos something to do, something to think about. Who I thought was excellent, by the way, Santos, best player on the pitch for me up, up until yeah. up until the result. You're gonna you're gonna favour a Stockport County player, of course, but take take Stockport out of the equation. He was superb, and I, I can't see Bolton hanging on to him. To be honest, he's a re really big, strong lad, and you know he's, he's one of them you just need in your side. Mm -hmm. um, again, it's difficult to pinpoint the the better lads. I, th I think I've named them there, um, but overall, the fighting spirit that we've shown. And, and again, we spoke about was taking taking the game to to other teams when we're when we're facing the Cheetland. Liam said there his first ten goals with the Cheetland. There's something about going at that end, especially when it's full or near full, um, and it was special to watch. And, and in my personal opinion, it's the best FA Cup game I've seen in years. Yeah, I think, I think d d d despite the result, whatever happened, uh, you know, at four three 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 two, I think the fans were the winners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's my opinion. But I, I, yeah. yeah, I think uh, from a technical standpoint, there wasn't a lot we did wrong. First ten minutes we were caught cold. That maybe a bit of nerves or whatever. But other than that, we, we were absolutely brilliant. I was personally proud of every single lad that was involved. Yeah, uh, it, was, it was wicked to watch. Wicked. That was good. Uh, I hear you agreeing all the way through there, on. No, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I think Matt is spot on with the first. The first ten, I think. I go back to the first goal and we're, we're actually in possession and quite comfy and we're on the attack. And uh, I think they just, I think we cross one and they clear it. And Crozzy goes into like a 50 50 and sort of comes off second best. And it ricochets to a lad, Kachunga, who just obviously goes through. Will Collar can bring him down, but obviously early in the game, probably chooses not to. And then he's hit an hopeful shot that's deflected into the bottom corner. You know as well, Matty, like them ones you just, you know, if, if you don't hit, if you don't hit kitch, it's probably going out for a goal kick or Ethan's yeah. athletics had nothing on it. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then yeah, the second <clears> one actually is just unfortunate. Uh you could probably like nitpick at little things before it that we could have done better, maybe stopping the cross, etc. And then the third one's just a, a mix up, like you said, with Ethan and Kitch. But I think the the main thing is what you just said is is just I never I never felt even at 2-0 and five minutes down, like and you can see from the reaction of the lads, I've watched it back on the telly, like None of us were down. We were just like, right, come on, let get the ball, let's go, let's go, let's go. And and I just I just knew there was something something special that was gonna happen that night and, and obviously yeah, we produced it. Did it did it make it harder for you, and that it was Bolton? Or did the professional inside you not no. think about that? No, it was. It was I, I listen, I appreciate Matt's words, but for my own standards, like I just think like I look back on it and I think I could have done more and like etc. Et and I just think maybe the point of like you said playing against old teammates and you just sort of like I don't know fid fading out or whatever. I just it was it was tough. I'm not gonna lie, it was tough. And and like I said, but the main thing I've got out of last night is that we we've got the result and I can just move on now. Could you see Ducko in the stands? 
Yeah, I'll come and I'll come, Dick all came down to the bench about so about eighty minutes and we were chatting, we were just buzzing. We were buzzing. It's it's different going back to that, obviously playing against Bolton. It, I, I've been there myself. Um I played against County a couple of times after leaving and you, you know, you've you've got mates for life there. You've got you've got you, you parted terms, you know, in a bit of a bad way with Bolton, but you didn't part terms with your teammates. You, you know, you've got, exactly. you've got old friends there that you, you'll still be in contact for for many years to come. Um exactly. So it is difficult playing against against your mates and your teammates. Another team, you'd have put someone up, put it on, on them a lot more. You put, probably would have smashed people, put through you know, people through the stand. I know as well as as well as you do, as well as Matt does. It's hard not to want to do that. It's, it's hard. Sorry, it's hard want to want to play how you normally play, smashing people. You know, believing it on people when you've got. The respect and and and, and yeah. the friendships in the game. You know, I mean, I played against Rainsy and Sonny and stuff, and I, I, I love throwing an elbow in. I don't want to do that to my mates. You know what I mean? You know, yeah, you, you apologise and stuff. So you, it does it does alter your game. It, it can affect you at times. But I, I, I'm with Matt. I think you were, I think you were clash yesterday. I think like Mike Matt says, not about the you know you don't have to score a hat trick. It's being in the right place at the right time, breaking yeah, yeah. down. You know, you know, always wanting the ball, recycling play, and that's what. That's what you brought to the game yesterday, and that's what helped us get get the result. And I feel like you and Crowe played fantastic together, and, and and you linked up really well together. Yeah, I was going to just following on from Matty. Sorry, Chris. Um, right. I just think as well now with the new gaffer, I just think it's it's been what three games. I, I think now we're all sort of starting to recognise each other and con- complement each other now on the pitch, and an understanding that it's it's massive now. Um, of, of everyone on the pitch and I, and just going off the last few games, it's it's crazy to think that in three games the results and the performances we produced that it's, it's it's only going to get better. Yeah. By the way, just just throwing it out there, I feel like the the shout outs to the gaffer, the, the substitutions he made were, were, were the right ones, the great yeah. substitutions, and not not just that at the right times as well. I feel like he uh, he made every, every every right decision last night. Um, I feel like. At times, South and South and Hales, we you know we we put it we we expect him to do it every time, and it's you can't do like I feel I feel at one point someone slipped him in down the channel, and you know he got he got to the he got to the board just before he went out of play, and I think he pulled every muscle in his body trying to get there, uh, and I feel like when when Crenshaw came on, he gave us that other dimension, that other another play with the pace in behind that engine. And I just feel like he made he made the perfect substitution at the perfect time. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> I do want to bring up the manager in a moment. Um, one final thing, just on the players though, uh, and we've seen a few videos doing the rounds uh, of in the dressing <clears throat> in the dressing rooms and the cheering and the celebrating and the dancing around and stuff. What was that like? Just because you're still fairly new, you, you know, you're still yeah. the, one of the new well, guys. What was it yeah, like? But- it's like this is the thing. This is probably what's been the most highlighted thing since after the game, and like that just shows the lads' pre- like support of me as well. Like they know how tough it's been for me, and every single one of them after the game would come up to me, you know, just made up for me, and and that meant a lot. And then on top of that, there's been a lot of things about the you know singing this Bolton song, whatever it is. The fact is, like, that song wasn't actually on in the changing room. The BBC cameras that are there don't have noise, so it's come from the commentary. So we're, we're singing to a song that we sing to in the, in the changing rooms, and it's that's got about. But for me, like, what did they expect me to do? I'm, I'm a Stockport County player now. My loyalty is now with this group of lads, this football club. So what, what did they expect me to do? We're just on national television. We just probably had one of the best FA Cup games, like Matty said. What do you want me to sit in the corner? I was, I, I need to, you know what I mean? Like for me, the, the emotions that I felt leading up to that game and everything that went in it, I was the happiest guy in at Edgeley Park last night by a mile. That's yeah. I, I, I did, I did think that a little bit. You know, when you see clips and you think people are putting two and two together, yeah, and it's potentially portraying you in a in a light or in a in a manner that maybe you've not meant you know meant to come not at all but i said it to my missus like this morning i said like so i get abused all game which is brilliant like bring it on it's football but then we win the game and i can't go and support my teammates i've got a sort of it's mental i I just don't understand the logics of it like it's fans fans uh you know 
can be very fickle at times. I've I had, yeah. a, I had an incident where I think Matt, I don't know if Matt was playing at the time when we was at Staley Bridge. Or we played, did you play against County when we was at Staley Bridge? Or did you left uh, back? No. Or we might have been the season before we played County. Yeah, I wasn't there. And, uh, and it was, um, it was no, no Miller. Is it Jamie Milligan? Yeah, yeah, I've sent him in. Yeah, yeah. And he'd, he'd smashed uh, one of our players, Ben McKenna. He'd been in it a couple of times. And, he, you know, he, and he put it on him. So obviously, you back your teammates. You know, obviously, I was a Stockport County, Stockport County player, Stockport County fan. Uh, but you back your teammates, and I was getting all, all called all sorts of names, Judas, this, that, and the other. And I'm like, well, you know, this is my team. We scored and yeah. celebrated with my teammates because we, yeah. we we need to a last last minute winner. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't change what I've done at County. It doesn't change the way I feel about County. But that's my team yeah. now, and yeah. and yeah. Here's my loyalties. These, these <laughs> people pay my wage. These are my teammates, and I have my back, and I have their back. But Correct. Fans, fans yeah. don't see it like that. Fans are like, they kind of like have the tunnel vision at times. Yeah. But that's the thing, though. Like, imagine, like, all the, the county boys, we've just performed the way we did, got the result the way we did. They walk into a changing room and I'm just sat there, like, head that, down. That, like, you, that, it, it's a lose-lose view because then, then the county fans might be like, you know, he, you know he's not... He's not him, yeah, but not on some practical. The thing for me is the, the lads who I play with every day, imagine them seeing me just sat there, I bet they yeah. think. Like, so, they might... Like, I can't tell you how much already that they've welcomed me, like, one of the best bunch of lads I've I've been a part of in my career, and and like I said at the start, the biggest thing for me was how much they've had my back since I've moved yeah. to the club, and they know what's the, what's been left behind me and all the talk of everything. And your, and fu- your future's here as well for the next two exactly, years. Matty, you've exactly, to, mate. Exactly, mate. You've got to move with that. Exactly. So I was I was player coming you, mate. You know, obviously when you came off, and I was I was player coming you, and I swear to God, he was like a yo-yo. He was up and down. It was like you know, he, he was you know, yeah. up and supporting his teammates and. Yeah. Not that the excitement you could see the adrenaline running through you and the, yeah, you making every ball. That, I yeah, feel like that. I feel like regardless of what the cameras see, that the county fans saw every bit of that. And obviously, yeah. I've seen videos going around of you jumping around and singing and dancing <laughs> on the pitch and the side of the pitch while the game's still going. You know, because that's that's you as a player. You want to win. You're you're a born winner, and and that's what you want to do for for Stockport County for at least the next two years. Yeah, exactly, from, mate. From a fan's perspective. Yeah. Let's be honest, right? I'm, as a, speaking purely as a fan, there's been times where I've been pissed off with players who've left, come back, gone over the top with celebrating, maybe sometimes, or tried to go to fans. But let's let's be completely honest. I've also enjoyed it when we've had a player come back and do it. And Bolton fans, just like every other club, would have been the same. If the shoe was on the yeah. other foot, if you'd left those to go there, blah, blah, blah. You know, so I don't think it was, you know, I don't think it'll be um, one that, that hovers over you. Uh, the if, you had a stinker, if you had a stinker and we, and, and we got beat, the fans are going to be hammering you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. You. I've got to ask, we, we, one, one of our, in fact, boys, I don't think I told you this, one of our most ever viewed um, clips online was when we were speaking about initiations coming into mm-hmm. a football club. Ah, yeah. Have the lads have the lads uh, welcomed you? Have you had to do anything yet, or have we just yeah. reminded them? I had, yeah, I had mine at um, Dover away. Yeah. What did you think, Peter or Andre? Mysterious girl. Yeah. I did that. It's like this. You got like, you got the same color color. You got like tone. You got a nice, nice complex. I mean, I reckon. <laughs> well, like, uh, well, I tell you what, Rainsy did one as well. Yeah. And it's the best one I've ever seen. What did you do? Um, I don't know the name of it, but the one. Um, I'm a lyrical gangster, murderer. Oh, yeah. uh, he's, to be fair, Reigns is the blackest white man you'll ever see in your life. <laughs> nah, old, Nick, well, honestly, mate. Old school Reigns, old school Reigns, when I was the first at County, obviously, it was just, if, if you if you typed in on, on Google, Withenshaw, Reigns, would pop up. He had, he, had his, he had his lines and his eyebrows, his fade, a uh, little earring in. Little, little diamond earring from uh, American Road. <laughs> Honestly, mate, it was nuts. Class. No, it was good. It was good. Matt, Matt asked a really important question then, and I didn't want it to get Sorry. Done. What did you say, Matt? Sorry. I just stick in your shoulders. I don't know what that song is. I've never heard it. <laughs> you dicko, dicko on me. Oh, no, you, mate. You have already, pal. Nah, I, I, did, I, I, can't, I can't give you that. Because we have them on this show as well. Um, <laughs> nah, I love it, lad. I love it. That's just only a word, mate. Don't, don't be nervous. A for effort. It's a bit hot in here. Nah, mate. Got a bit I can't be doing that. 
He can play in front of 10,000, but, you know, he struggles on podcasts. You know what? You boys will know that. That is the hardest thing that anyone will ever do. Ever. Mate, mate I've had 37 clubs. <laughs> <laughs> I could have brought my own album out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nah, I, think, good. I think if we have you on again in the future, Ant, I think we should work on a duet maybe between the three of you. Do you know, we'll just, box, just box, like... Mate. We'll box them. <laughs> all, all four of us. Yeah, all four oh, of us, yeah. yeah. Mate, I've got, I've got a bone in my leg. I can't. Are you, are, you, are, you, are you sick that day? Yeah, yeah. I'm having yeah. I'm washing my hair. Um, let, oh, but just, just briefly back onto the footy then, Ant, for a moment. Yeah. You, mentioned, you mentioned the new gaffer there. Now, again, I appreciate you've only sort of been at the club five minutes, but you've yeah. experienced the manager who brought you in change into the new manager. What what have you? What differences did you see between Simon and Dave? And what is different under Dave that, that, that you know, well, from from under Simon, yeah. Like again, like it's it's hard for me to say, like you said, but um, obviously I met Simon the day before I signed, and he, he you know he come across really well. He was talking to me about um, where he sees me and where he sees the team, and and you know, he, like anyone who meets the manager on the first day, it, it was really good. And but I did have a sense of like, uh, I just think the difference just in now with with the lads. Just day to day, I just don't know what what it was. I think maybe that obviously in time it's just sort of got a bit sour with the lads and, and Simon. But obviously the gaffer's coming now, and that's the first thing he sort of brought in is that like, look, you know, shackles are off. This is my identity. This is what I want, and it's just clear instructions that I think everyone's flourishing with. And I think he's just, you know, I think he's just getting the best out of every individual that he, that that he's got at his disposal. Yeah. What did he, Anthony? What did what did he say at half time? What what, what uh, uh, he was at that point in the game? He wasn't happy. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Oh, like, I'm he, interested. He's um obviously I like I don't want to. He, he's just come in no. like you like you know he's coming and he wasn't happy. He was like fucking you know he can't have us having to score four goals at home yeah. to win games. Was, was it three one at half time? Three three two one. It quicks had just scored. Yeah, just scored another. So, yeah, and, and he's next goal bit, is right. He's basically like come in, had a bit of a goal sort of the first 10, 10 minutes and then he's finished on like, they're there for the taking. If you don't know that and you can't see that, then what's the point in going out? Like you you all have to realise like this is this is a really good opportunity for you. Do what you're doing, do what I'm asking of you. And, you know, everyone just sort of like, even when he was sort of having a goal, but in the right way, it's a, it's a kick up, it's a kick up the ass that is, I think, We've not had before, well, what I've sort of seen previous with Simon that just got the lads thinking, do you know what? He's, yeah, he's spot on. Like, this is, you know, 10,000 fans. The fans have come out in the numbers. There's probably not happened a lot for a while at Stockport. Yeah. Go out and do it. Go out and express yourselves. And, and obviously, that's what we did. Not going to get a better opportunity either. Exactly. That's what I mean, Matty. And, and I think just the, just the sort of, like like I said, the little kick up the arse and and pinpointing little things to individuals in in the right way. Don't get me wrong; it weren't in the right way. Like we've all all been around. The, the individuals are like right, yeah, and it's just hurt everyone up, and we just did what we did. Shall I, just a quick one, Chris. Big shout out to um, Cashy, by the way. The pitch looks immense. Oh, unreal. I was thinking mate. the same thing. Unreal. Done there. You know what? Yeah. When we played, he, 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 he was probably sat there fuming when at the end of the game when he just saw. Kid after kid after kid on the pitch doing these. Hundred <laughs> percent for you. Even, even the gaffer. Did you the see gaffer. the gaffer though? The gaffer was for you when at the end of the game. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. yeah. Because well, it when, would have been nice. It would have been nice for us to just yeah, give yeah. like you know, yeah, like, like use them, though. yeah, just go out and just enjoy the moment with the fans and and like sort yeah. of get a real like atmosphere going now. From the sort of this is the start now for to kick on. Yeah, I mean where, where I was sat. Um, you know, the people just gathering around there, like guys, girls, <laughs> they'll come over, it'll be easy to get on the pitch. And I'm just thinking straight away, you know, that's that for me, you know, it's emotions are in high, but there's, there's, there's a time and a place. And you know, we, we've, we've had it, we've had a great, a great game, we've, we had a great result. But do you really want to ruin it for the players as well? And, and we, it, it, the, the ref could have added 10 more minutes on that game, yeah, you know, no point on the pitch, second his shirt, yeah. grand shirt, taking the corner flag. You know, and it could have it could have gone in their favour, it could have gone in Bolton's favour. So it's just one of them things. That you, but that's that's the emotions and, and and the passion in football for some fans. Exactly. Yeah, you can't. That's what I mean. You can't take it away. You can't. 
yeah, but Dicko, people doing knee slides on Edgeley Park is because they're paying tribute to you. Obviously, obviously, obviously standard. <laughs> I, if I did a knee slide now, I wouldn't get back up. Fact. <laughs> I mean, everything hurts. <laughs> I would have. I would have loved. I would have loved to to have around November, December times for our for our pitch back in the day to be that good. I, mean, I was saying it to my dad last night. You can play proper football now. It was like ice when we back in the yeah. day. You know, sharing it to say. <laughs> Yeah. I, I said, I said, um, I, that's the first thing I said when I walked in and saw the pitch, and I was like, Fuck, you know, I said, it's November. It's November. There was about 11, 11 grains of grass on, on 11 blades of grass on that pitch when I was here. It was yeah. just, I'm so, honestly, I'm so glad played. he said that. Because do you remember the, um, do you remember the, um, the Wickham game? Was it six, yeah. it six nil? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I was, it was well before me that. We beat, no, it wasn't. I think it was that season. It was the start of the season. We beat them 6 no, I, 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 I caught your Wickham game 1 0. That's when I came. Yeah, yeah. The, the, well, earlier in the season, we played in the league. We beat them 6 0. Yeah, yeah. It, it was just a, the, the ref would have called it off if we wouldn't have got two early goals. It was, yeah. it was a mud bath. There was no grass on the pitch at all, mate. It no. was just, and that, that was week in, week out because obviously Sale yeah. Sharp played them there as well. It was, and just, just it's a walk. Shame, down. It's such the whole, a shame. Yeah. The whole stadium and the whole, literally the players' lounge, everything, they, they just they just do everything right and it's all moving in the yeah. right direction. That was um that was a big thing the gaffer said uh, after the Bromley game. Obviously, the disappointment could see that goal, but he was uh, <clears throat> he was sort of getting at the fact he said, listen, like, this, this, there's no excuses anymore. That everything that that you could get as a professional football at this club, you you're getting like second, like it's it's above and beyond. Yeah. And that's another good thing you pointed out that like don't fucking take this as like you know as a bit of a cop out. Like, go on, go play for Stockport, see whatever. Yeah. No, no, not at all. No chance. Like this now is like it's it's just it's just exciting, mate. Honestly, it's really exciting. Well, like, looking back, like I say, the time when I was then, even in the football league. It, the, the, the facilities were nowhere near as good as you know you trained at Carrington you've got yeah. tra train our training facilities we're training simply on it on just on a field and it, yeah, yeah. it was at Manor Farm and I, I even I drive past it you know most days because I work around near there the memories I get back and I, I just think you know how, how, but, how lucky I was but do you think with that though do you think like all you lads like breeding into that sort of like you didn't have all that and you, you do you think that's what sort of got you and the boys I don't know what I can't sort of explain like obviously now you're saying oh we, we're at Carrington do you think if you had Carrington back then you'd have done as well as you did possibly possibly not but, but having the best facilities to train it should give you the best chances I think oh, 100%, 100%. If, you, if you're if you're on the field and, and there's bobbles all over the pitch and you try to practice whipping balls and out your feet and whipping balls in you know, you're gonna have more joy uh, on a nicer surface on something yeah. that you sat there, but it didn't really make much difference to us because the trading pitch was probably better than Edgley Park. Well, that's what I was going to say. That that was the next point I was going to make is that no disrespect, but mostly teams in this league, we won't be going to Edgley Park every weekend. No. Or no. So no. that's the other side of it. Obviously, when we're at home, yeah, play your football. You can't get a the pitch, but like we went to Dover the other week, and and like you just said, that was like. Something I've never seen, like it was yeah. honestly like it, it was really bad. But that's the sort of thing I'm saying about this a squad is like, yeah, you can be a pretty side and do the things, but you need to also have like that little bit of like grit that you can go 10 places and, and grind it out. Yeah, you've all got night when it's cold as well. Correct, 100% matter. Yeah, you've always, you know, oh, sorry, mate, go on. No, I was just gonna say, but it's, it's, it's no disrespect, but I just think everyone who I speak to says, obviously, and, and, and I know of it's it's the hardest league. To get out of, I'm conscious. I'm conscious that we've that we've slightly strayed over. We've got a new guest. Good evening. <laughs> Look at that world you're there. I know, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, well, I'm actually. If you if you wouldn't mind joining us for a moment, I was going to say I've got two more questions, but I need as many opinions as I can get on this. The first question I was going to ask is. Who's the characters that's accepted you in the dressing room, man? But we'll come back to that in a minute. The other big question that I've had a lot of grief for over the last year and a half since we've been doing uh, this this show is both Ant and sorry, is it Alana? I don't think yes, we've met before. Ant and Alana, can I have some feedback on these curtains? Because Dicko just gives me grief every week about them. Rascal, mate. Tell him what you're just been saying to me before we go on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like they're quite patterned, but they're okay. You like yeah. oh, solid oh. 
solid that, 10 out of 10. Well, I can pour. Yeah, I can pour. Okay. Yeah. All right. Alana, would you have them in your house? I mean, I, I'm quite minimal, so. Liam, would you have them in your house? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I'm going to get grounded for this. <laughs> okay, fair. Right, we'll move on from the kids. And very last quick question then before we go. Just which characters in the dressing room? Who's accepted you? Who's the, who's the one with the banter? Who's the music taste, etc.? How have you found this group of lads? No, honestly, like I've said earlier, it's, I'm not just saying it because I'm here now or whatever, but it's, it's one of the best bunch I've been been a part of and it's only been two, three weeks. But I, I obviously knew I knew of, of most before I joined. Obviously, Ogie's one of my best mates anyway. And then obviously, as I've got in, i played against Quig. Quig's is a character. Mac is a, a character. Um, and then you just got the characters like Paddy Runes. They're big characters. But honestly, like in general, it's it's a close knit group. Like honestly, I'm not just saying it is, and and then and for me, like just seeing that with with other promotions I've had, first and foremost, what you need is a squad that's a togetherness in the squad. Simple as that. And and this what this has got it in abundance. Honestly, you need it over forty games as well, don't you? You don't just hundred percent. You just need everyone on board because the same eleven players are not going to play every week. They're yeah. not. It's just it's just in near impossible. So as long as you've got everyone on board and, and pulling in the right way, which this group is, and they're all together, they're all supportive, there's no bad eggs, there's no sulking. Honestly, mate, I'm not just saying it. In in, in the in the times I've had promotion, this this has got everything to, to go and do it this year. Yeah. Well, listen, <clears throat> we'll wrap it up there because I know, I know Matt, he's about getting uh, similar trouble to me when, when the curtains clip goes out later. <laughs> <laughs> tea time, mate, tea time. <laughs> so was, uh, but but listen, and before I let you go, I want to say thanks for last night from every county fan to every county player that was there. Yeah. Last Just thanks for an unbelievable, memorable. It's, it's a thanks back, back from the players to the fans as well, because like I said, and Dicko and Matty will know this uh, as well. Like having that, like we were saying, twelfth man, but that support, honestly, is it's. That's that's a win. That's a that's a winning form in itself. Honestly, if like if you, if you turn up at home every week and you've got that behind you, how can you not come away with three points? Exactly. Perfect way to end it. Boys, thank you very much for joining us and all of Boys. you. Boys, yeah. well you, you stay in touch. Let us know if you come into any game soon. And, yeah, and yeah definitely. Mate. We'll be there. I'll catch up with you after the games yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Bring yeah, you the the you, mate. We'll bring you for the county live Christmas do. <laughs> I'm <Keep> on that. <laughs> Cheers, boys. Podcast. Cheers, boys. Take Keep care. Up.